Almana says said that knowledge is limited. Knowledge is limited. But on the other hand, imagination is powerful. There is a contract between them. I do not go into the contract. One of the point the British court said that knowledge is like a sinking star. So the more you learn, the more you gain. Imagination is the basic principle of the human mind. Now I conclude by so I would like to invite our professor Gautam uh, Kumar Dosh. Before that, I want to introduce uh, Professor Gautam Kumar Dosh. He is currently working as an AOD and professor in Mechanical Engineering Department, Polyester Technology. He obtained his PhD in Production Engineering in Jalalpur University, Calcutta. He has obtained a Master's in Mechanical Engineering from Naval Engineering and Science University, Seafood. He has worked as an assistant professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering in the College of Engineering and Management, Olagar, for 10 years. He was an engineer in R&D Center of MS Industrial Motors Limited, West Bengal, India. In active areas of industrial and additive manufacturing, metal cutting, non-conventional mechanics and industrial cell production management. He has published several edited books on international equations. Has published research papers in Journal of International Review. He is the recipient of the several projects from government funded agency. He has attended several international conferences we have done. Now, I will invite our Professor Gautam Kumar Rose. It is up to you, sir. Can money buy the 
love and affection of a mother. Thank you. Never. Never. You cannot equate money with all the human emotions. Right or wrong? See, there are a lot of problems. Like, I have taken a few. Fresh water problems are there. In Haldia, you won't believe we have to buy drinking water. It's a really a issue over here. India produces huge amount of food grains, but we don't have the capability of preserving it, distributing it. A lot of the food grains that we produce go on waste. Right or wrong? Soil. Soil, the irrigation is done on or cultivated on fertile soil that is getting wasted every day due to soil erosion, due to a lot of natural calamities, right? And after all, pollution is there. There are chemical pollutions, there are environmental pollutions, right or wrong? So these are the problems like afforestation, the human civilization has expanded in many folds that has led to the deforestation which has led to carbon footprints, global, life, global warming, change of climate. You find in some areas there are huge rainfall, some areas there are scarcity of rainfall. The erratic pattern of our climate leads to this wildlife and forest depletion. So that leads to the flood. You find in a lot of states recently were affected by flood. So these are real issues, real problems we are facing right now. And finally, the human race is accumulating huge amount of waste. All the cities, all the urban development areas are having this waste, solid waste. It's also creating a lot of issues, environmental issues. Right or wrong? So these are the problems which are existing with us. We are living with these problems right now. So there should be some solution to all this. There should be some answers how to tackle. All this is growing at a very fast rate. Right? So you need to develop ideas. You need to develop yourself with new ideas how to tackle these issues. You are the budding engineers. You are the people of new generation who will be leading the new India. So you people should come up with ideas which will help the human race to have a better place to live. Okay, so these ideas come from innovation. Innovation comes from thoughts. Innovation comes from ideas which can create changes. Many of you have creativity within yourself and that creativity can be developed into products, can be developed into systems, can be developed into new changes in human life. Right? Many people like you have developed new ideas to change the place that we live, a better place to live. So for that, <coughs> you can empathize, discuss, you can form groups with people having similar mindset and develop new ideas. You can define your ideas. Maybe some computer software you have developed that will lead to some help to the nature, some help to the farmers, some help for waste management. You can do it. 
you can develop nowadays people are working and developing ideas and putting in different kinds of hackathons i hope you have heard this term hackathons idea hackathons across pan india this competitions are going on every day so you can put up your ideas in different hackathons in msme sectors in aict there are portals where you can put up your ideas which will not only help you earn revenue but also it will help and serve the mankind so what walt disney you have heard of name walt disney yes is a genius he believes in developing imagineers not engineers engineers who can imagine who have ideas he doesn't want engineers merely to work he want imagineers who can imagine and have that imagination reflected on some products some systems so another person james cameron have you heard the name james cameron the great film director so many beautiful movies he has given us the ux and vx of this movies are so realistic in nature in lion king i remember the mane of the lion each and every fiber was visible so beautiful so beautiful and so accurate and so realistic was their presentation that is imagination you won't feel that like it is a cartoon movie or a cartoon film looks like a real feature film being portrayed in front of you the voice which was matching the animals was really amazing then avatar that was another marvelous production by james cameron right or wrong Yes, sir. So uh, these are the people who has given us how to develop an idea, how to be creative in nature. So I'll present to you some of the new in innovations because you, I believe, you are from IT sectors, all the students, maybe. So these are the new developments which are taking place across world. you people are the new generation engineers you should be acquainted with this kind of new ideas and new developments which are taking place already these are all implemented in the western world so when you will be coming out from the institute and when you will be joining the industries you will be facing this kind of innovative works or the works which are prevailing right now some of them are in the research category some of them are all already implemented okay so first is artificial intelligence enabled robots in future technology iot homes internet of thing homes okay smart homes smart uh let's say the devices that we are using like ac refrigerator washing machines okay so lighting systems so these are all iot enabled then space tourism space tourism is another area which is coming up very fast you find people obviously there are rich people who are going to space for travel okay then we have self driven cars how many of you are fond of cars okay guys uh, we have two clubs in our mechanical department Who are developing cars? One is the Formula One car, and the Go Kart team. They are indigenously developing the cars in the department and participating. You can come and connect with us. Okay. So now you have the self-driven cars, which are humanless, autonomous in nature. The new sources of energy. See, this fossil fuel won't last long. Right or wrong? fossil fuel the petrol and diesel i hope it won't last forever right so what is the substitute substitute what is the alternative fuel maybe sun maybe wind maybe something else you have to find out because the time you will be growing up 
the fossil fuel will deplete and it will end. So the alternative source of energy people are searching, which are commercially viable, those kinds of energies. Like nowadays you will find the lithium ion battery, people are using. Okay. Drone. Right? These drones, I hope you know that drones are nowadays widely used everywhere. During the lockdown, we have seen that drones are being used to drop essential items from point A to point B. Our militaries are using in many areas as a transport system from one hill to another. Okay? For surveillance, for commercial purposes also, drones are being used, photo shootings and all. Then virtual reality, in the virtual space, in virtual domain, you can visualize object, you can create new prototypes using this virtual reality. Okay, it's different from augmented reality because augmented reality is the 3D design and the 3D pictures that you find on your mobile or laptop. But virtual reality cut off from the physical object or the physical frame to completely in the different virtual dimension where you can have the 3D impression of any object in 360 degrees. Then the medical advancement in, with the help of artificial intelligence and nanobots. Artificial intelligence in medical domain is playing a very vital role in defining the disease, inspecting the disease and treatment with the help of artificial intelligence. New kind of virus variants are coming up every day. Now how to detect the nature, how to detect the genetic pattern of these viruses? These are actually being used with the help of artificial intelligence algorithms. Okay? So this is one such example where robots are being used in agriculture in areas where the water is scarce like Israel, like the Gulf countries, you won't find water in abundance. Plus, the soil is not very much fertile. So they are using robotic technology to detect how much amount of water is required, how much amount of fertilizer is to be given, at what time, how the health of the plant is being maintained, all these are carried out with the help of robotic technology. Because human have certain errors, human might create errors, but with this programmable robots, with the help of AI system, the things are very easy nowadays. Uh, so this IoT enabled robots are replacing industry at a very fast rate. Be aware of this situation where repetitive work by human will not be required anymore. Already it is being implemented in the West, it is coming at a very fast rate in India. So repetitive work, mundane work these are getting replaced by robots. So robots are functioning well and they are functioning very effectively and replacing the humans. In factories like Tesla, where 90% of the workforce are being replaced by robots. The Amazon warehouse where the packaging and systematic delivery system is, con is completely controlled by robots with artificial intelligence. Minimal human intervention is there. So be prepared to face industry where AI enabled robots will be used. 
So you will be the first user to this kind of environment where you will be interacting with robots. So you, what I am trying to tell you guys is you need to upgrade yourself. Don't go for semester, marks, CA, class attendance. It will be there. These are all the regular affairs of an engineer in the student's career. Apart from that, you should be open enough to embrace the new development which is taking place across the world. Because when you will be passing out, you will be facing this kind of system and if you are not updated, you will be outdated. You see, in your mobile phones and other electronic devices, regular updates are given. Yes or no? So you get updates for your software every day, every now and then. So why that is effect? To get the latest technology. In that way, you people should update and upgrade yourself regularly. Now, this medical system in earlier days it was being mostly manual in nature, taking blood samples, checking the blood pressures and all. Now you have smart watches which can give you feedback 24-7 regarding the human condition, health condition. Right? So this kind of systems are coming up and the medical explorations pertaining to health, pertaining to diagnosis are being conducted with the help of AI system. So with the help of artificial intelligence, it will be very easy and it is nowadays used in the western world to detect cancers like disease or heart disease early prediction it is possible with the help of artificial intelligence okay software are being developed where artificial intelligence is being used for early detection of cancer or maybe heart disease or liver malfunctioning so the future technology lies with internet of things where we find the smart home already it is existing where we can change the illumination of a house we can have a smart locking system you can access them from remote location the consumer durables like the ACs like the refrigerators like the washing machines they can be controlled from remote location and with the help of your mobile phone you can monitor it ok the surveillance system you can monitor right so these are the new technologies which are coming up and we should be open enough to embrace the new change the remote control system for smart homes for health as well as for surveillance you can develop these are the new techniques which are costly in nature, maybe in near future you can develop this kind of system at a cheaper price. Okay? So what I am trying to tell you is like you should have that frame of mind to embrace new things, generate new ideas so that you can deliver to the society, to the betterment of mankind. So the human race is actually very fragile in nature. If the human race is non existing, the entire nature will not be affected. Right? Right or wrong? If the human race is extinct, will the nature be extinct? Right or wrong? Will it be extinct? The nature will take over the entire earth and it will run on its own okay so we are the fragile species but still we think that we are great we are the highest highest species smart right 
till now we cannot detect IV when the earthquake will come. We cannot detect IV when there will be a landslide. Right or wrong? But the animals they can detect. The animals when prior to an earthquake, you find the ants are coming out. The fish comes above the water level. Right? They have the sensory organs. They can detect, they can feel the nature. They can feel if such slight change in the nature is there. They can detect. But till now, in spite of being so intelligent, we are unable to detect that change in nature. The fact lies, we are not connected to nature. We are not connected to nature. That's why you cannot detect. But the animal species, they can detect. We have created aeroplanes, helicopters, drones, everything. But the precision with which a bee develops honey, can we create that? We take the honey from the honey bee. We steal from the nature. But we cannot create the same. We can create the bee hive, but we cannot create the honey. Right or wrong? Yes, sir. Okay, so we are trying to be smart, we are acting to be smart, but still nature is smarter. Right? So this is the future of IoT. In home, smart homes with transport systems, smart transport systems will be there, community services through IoT enabled systems. Industries will be or are running through IoT enabled systems. Okay? So, Internet of Things is playing a very vital role in all spheres of life. Okay? In everywhere you will find Internet of Things are being applied. In some form, it is being applied. Now, computer vision for mobile devices. This has been already developed by Qualcomm. So with this, you can have gesture recognition, you can have face or facial detection, text recognition, as well as augmented reality. So this multifaceted function with the computer vision system helps in many ways in industry. So, when a product is getting developed, the detection of the barcode, so you find that on every product you are buying there is a barcode. So, that barcode has a specific information regarding the product. So, with the computer vision system, it gets recognized and it helps the company to deliver from point A to point B or from the industry end to the customer. Okay, so this is playing a very vital role. Space tourism for nowadays industrialists and billionaires, they are exploring. Maybe in the near future, space tourism will be one of the lucrative business across the globe. People are willing to venture out into the unknown. People are willing to see what is there outside the earth and how it looks like in zero gravity situation. It does not belong to the astronauts and cosmonauts. It now belongs to the people who can afford. Now the prices are slowly coming down for space exploration. Healthy people, rich people, now they can afford and they can go back or go away into the space, have few days at zero gravity, okay? At least we can see in the movies like Star Wars and other movies of space, deep space, explore movies. But physically, maybe your generation 
can have this opportunity to explore space through space tourism. So self-driven cars nowadays are being used for transportation from point A to point B. It has GPS enabled systems, it has the Google map systems embedded, it has proximity sensors with the computer vision system as well as with AI. So many multi-facet functions are embedded in this self-driven cars, which is driverless. Now this is applicable to situations in long driving, where the driver gets fatigued continuously for a long drive. This self-driven cars are very effective. And also in places where road congestions are there, the self-driven car actually helps in transporting people to the nearest location, to the nearest, to the smallest part from point A to point B. They can move on with the self-driven vehicles. Now these are also autonomous in nature, pre-programmed. You can give your origin and destination, so it will come to your pickup point and it will deliver you to your destination. Right. So the self-driven cars are already existing in the western world and in industry also. The self-driven box, the self-driven vehicles for material transportation from point 1 to point 2 or point A to point B is already there. So the software which is being developed for the self-driven cars by NVIDIA, they have developed this software and nowadays they have been used in the autonomous cars for transporting people, transporting products. Okay, so there is a controversy regarding this because what will the people do? What will their drivers do if they are getting re replaced by AI? Obviously, it's a controversial issue. People are scary, losing their job because if the computers and the robots and the AI system are taking over the human efforts, where will this huge human population will go? To tell you guys, humans will be required only for creativity. For the regular kind of work, you are not required. You need to develop things Humans are required only to develop and create the regular work, the regular mundane jobs will be taken over by AI system. It has already been taken up in the western world, slowly it is coming in India. So the future of energy, energy is a very vital criteria. Without energy, nothing moves. Our human body also needs energy. So, the energy source should be sustainable in nature. The energy, the fossil fuels from which we are drawing the energy will not last long. So, the sustainable energy should be like bioenergy, wind energy, water and sun. These are perpetual in nature and these are sustainable energy and these are renewable energy. The energies right now what we are using is non-renewable energy. So we have to think or shift our focus from non-renewable energy to renewable energy which will be sustainable in nature and which are abundance in nature. These kinds of energies are in abundance in nature. Hydrogen is one such example which is being explored and being used nowadays in power plants, in, power, in uh, transportation, that means in vehicles, in steel production, biofuel upgradation, refineries, synthetic oil and fuel, <coughs> pharmaceutical companies and domestic and commercial heating infrastructure in 
cold area climates where heating is required, internal heating of the house is required. So hydrogen is being used there. Okay. So in India also we are exploring this opportunity of using this hydrogen gas as an alternative fuel because hydrogen is available in nature. So with this new renewable energy we can shift our focus and we can use them for our commercial purposes. Lithium ion battery, now you can find in every electronic device. Lithium ion battery is being used. Because of its high specific energy, lithium ion battery is being used. And the longevity of all the equipments, all the electronic equipments are enhanced with the help of this lithium ion batteries. But the price of this lithium ion batteries are very high right now. So you people should find some ways and means to make this lithium ion battery cheaper in days to come. That is the new concept and the new uh, ideas that you have to develop how to make this lithium ion battery more commercialized. Still now we don't have manufacturing units of lithium ion battery in India but it depends upon you how you can develop it, how you can make this happen in India. Because the new India wants people like you who can deliver, who are creative in nature, to have the new ideas to bring up with some solutions to the problems you are facing. So biofuel is one such area which are being explored because we have livestock of the plants, we have livestock of the waste from the plants so that can be converted into biofuels. So these biofuels are being used in many ways as fertilizers in refineries they can be used in making ethanol which can be used as a fuel in most of the vehicles, blended fuels. So we blend the conventional fuel with the biofuel and we can use it in our vehicles. And it gives less emission. These biofuels also deliver less emission. We need to think of reducing the carbon footprint. The carbon footprints are increasing the global temperature. Now wind energy is available in the coastal areas as well as in the desert areas. You will find in Rajasthan areas or in the coastal areas of Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Kerala, you will find this wind energy is being used to develop electrical energy. Companies like Suzlon, Adani, they have created this wind energy power plants across India. They are taking the help of the wind and delivering the electrical energy into the grid for the domestic purpose as well as for use in industry. Next is the solar energy which is in abundance in nature. So nowadays you will find rooftops are being covered with solar panels which will be a substitute in near future for saving energy because every day you find the electric bills are shooting up so solar can be an alternative source of energy still now the solar panels are a bit costly in nature depends upon you people to develop ideas to develop new type of solar panels which are commercially available at a lesser price so idea come, should come from you you develop certain mechanisms of developing solar panels which can be commercially used for the people who are needy and they can now government gives subsidies nowadays to buy solar panels used for their domestic purposes but still it's costly drone we have said that drone is one such area which are being used across anywhere for defense system for transport system for commercial purposes 
drones are being used. So uh, in agriculture also we are using drones to find out where the pests are, how the conditions of the plants are, or surveillance of the entire farm. We use drones. Now in medical, nowadays they are using nanobots. These are being infused into the bloodstream to detect certain deficiencies or defects in the human body which can be used as a cure or early detection of some fatality diseases. So these are the new technologies in medical which are coming up and then with the help of this nanobots people are getting cured. Now digital tattoos and biosensors these are being used for regular monitoring the health condition. Digital tattoos. So, these digital tattoos are embedded on the skin and 24 7 monitoring of the health are being conducted with this digital tattoos and biosensors. To inform you guys, within 2030, your Android phone will be abolished. Okay? So, with the help of these digital tattoos, you will find the phone on your hand. Will be the, it will be developed with the help of this. People are already developing. Google has already ventured out in this area and they are developing this biosensor or this digital tattoo, taking the help of digital tattoo in developing phones. So, physical existence of phone will not be there beyond 2030. New kinds of phones are getting developed with the help of this digital tattoo and biosensors. Robotic surgery, you know, it is already there with the help of robotic manipulators, robotic arms, with the help of AI system from remote location, people are operating on patients, not critical operations, but surgeries, common surgeries are being conducted with the help of this uh, robotic manipulator. And the accuracy is almost 100% with the precision with which the uh, robotic manipulators are operating and the success rate is also 100% and the recovery of the patient is very fast because it takes very or it cuts very small spaces of area on the human body and it completes the operation now guys a lot of people have changed our life has only picked a certain personalities like Leonardo da Vinci, the visionary, the great artist, scientist, you can say, Albert Einstein, Nobel laureate, we have Thomas Edison who has developed hundreds of new products with the help of his ideas which has changed our life. Any example you can give or you have with Thomas Edison you know? Can you give? What has he developed? Well, not anything else. Anybody? Thomas Edison, what are his discoveries? Don't Google it. Tesla. Is he correct? Right? Badam Puri. Radioactivity. Henry Ford. Car. He is a pioneer in developing cars. Steve Jobs, yeah. Apple, Apple, Bill Gates, and Elon Musk, Tesla. Next will be you. Your picture will be over here. In days to come, remember. You will be one of the greatest inventors who will change the life of human race. You have that potential.
আমাদের কলেজে সেমিনার সেমিনার হল বি পজিটিভ ইউ ক্যান ক্রিয়েট আ ডিফারেন্স এন্ড লেটস মেক দিস ওয়ার্ল্ড আ বেটার